And welcome back. Well, whilst we're still in this section, I think we might add two more divisions. One here and one here. So let's just go select all those there. Pop down to our connect. Just like that. This time we'll say we want two. Um, we can slide them across a little bit. Let's slide it in the middle there. But now I want to pinch them together. So we can pull those there. Let's slide them down. And take it there. And pinch it together a little bit more. Ooh, come on. fine and we can say OK on that. Now I'm going to go to vertices, vertex there, and I want to select the cut tool. What we need to do is cut along these sections here and along that section there. So I'm placing the cursor over that vertices there. Press click then I'm going to drag it. And you can see it wants to go to that corner there. But what we're doing is we're forcing it up to this line here. We're on the line and we're going to left click our mouse button and it's cut from there to there. And we're going to go up onto that line there. Press the left mouse key. It's made another cut up to this one here on the line, left click and then we just want to go up to that last vertices at the top there and left click and if we right click it stops the action. Next we want to do this one here so let's place our cursor over up to this line here, left click and the next line left click, the next click and up to that section there, click, right click to end the action. And now we need to repeat the same process on the other side. So let's pop up to there and select the right viewport and start from there. Up we go. just there, right click to there, up to there and right click and now we can move back to our left viewport so on this one we can hit L there we go and now I just want to switch off the cut tool so we can't cut anything else. Let's pop up to our layers manager. We're going to hide our reference material for the time being. Pop into polygon mode. Make sure that ignore back facing isn't ticked. And what we're going to do is we know that this section here has to come out so let's select those polygons there and simply press delete. Select these polygons and press delete. And then we can select these polygons. That polygon there, if I'll just press delete on that and then these polygons here Let's press delete and the other one there, delete. So if we come into perspective mode now, hit P and have a quick rotate around, 
we can see that we've cut it out. Now when we cut it on the other side it's not perfect and it's not the same as this side. However we do have a, a little trick a little bit later on if both sides aren't equal we're actually going to um, delete half of it and then mirror it join it back together and weld it. We'll see how we go. But we've started to get that part sorted out now. What we need to do is actually reshape the front section here. So let's pop into our layers manager. Um, we'll look at the fuselage helpers, turn those back on and now we can see how we need to shape that at the front there. Just close that for a moment. And we're going to pull it down into our double screen again. This time, that's in left, so right click, zoom, zoom that one as well. I don't know. Zoom in there, pull it over here. We're looking at this section here, so we need the vertices on there. Right, let's take this, zoom in a little bit, so we can see basically what's happening. I'm going to go to vertex now, and we want to select that those two vertices there and those two there. So that's these here. We'll select our scale tool. No, we'll actually bring those down a little bit. It's just to begin with. About there. Hit Alt. Let me just rotate it around. Zoom in. not too bad. We'll leave it at that for the time being. Select the next two vertices. Let's bring those down. You can see them just popping through there. So we'll put those there and then with our scale tool let's just bring them out a little bit. There. Move this down these two vertices here W for our move tool right click just bring those down and just going through there let's bring them down a tad more and then scale tool let's bring them outwards actually no We'll keep it like that, but we'll bring them W for our move tool. Let's bring them up, then scale them in along this axis here. Maybe up just a touch more. And then our final one, we can grab there and just bring that down and rest it on top there. Now it should be, what we want to do is keep these more or less in the same position so let's work in the left viewport bring that down to about there this viewport let's select those square them up there next to bring it down and the last one bring that down to approximately there then we can pop over to our perspective viewport, zoom out just a little bit, and we can see that those vertices are in that section. Let's go with our scale tool and pull them up. There they are. Select those two, right click scale. There you can 
can see it up there if need be let's zoom in there and we can now grab those back over here scale tool just bringing those out a little bit lovely and then the final one there we don't need the scale that's the positioning tool so W let's have a look okay let's just bring these two here up just a little bit more to about there then we can scale them in a little bit tighter there okay let's zoom out there pan it across alt let's rotate it for a moment now that's not looking too bad in that section at all. Mm -hmm.